so I want to uh, segue right into you and just kind of have you introduce yourself. Uh, you know, for people that aren't familiar with, with your body work is tremendous. You know, it's, it's really pretty wild. So uh, can you give a little backstory on who you are and what you've done? Yeah, no, my name is Seth Mosley. Thanks so much, Jacob, for having me. I appreciate what you what you do and what you are doing for your people and your world. And uh, yeah, my name is Seth Mosley. I am a songwriter. I'm a music producer, uh, was an artist in a past lifetime. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I've been fortunate to have just an amazing career as a songwriter to be able to work with a lot of the artists that I grew up listening to, which is why I started a company called Full Circle Music. It's kind of all these full circle moments of people wow. that I grew up, grew up listening to. My first record was from a band called Newsboys back in 95, and then I ended up producing uh, their label record, which was my first uh, record that I produced for a label was in 2009 called Born Again. So that's Full Circle Music. That's where I, all that comes from. That is wild. So that was one of the questions I had on here, where, where the full circle music got its name. But that is pretty remarkable. I love that, the, the, the full circleness of it, man. That is so cool. So you've worked with a ton of artists, you know, but like, I, I want to know how you got into the industry. You know, I know that you, you, ha you worked in, uh, you had your own past life of a musician, uh, making your own music, releasing your own music. And then, you know, you started into producing. So how did you segue? How did you start? You know, kind of we go back a little bit into the, the earlier days of Seth Mosley. Oh, man. Um, yes. Yeah, so like I said, I started as an artist. They, even before that, I started as a worship leader. And um, I grew up in a little tiny town called Circleville, Ohio, which is not famous for anything other than pumpkins. <laughs> Definitely not music. <laughs> and uh, I grew up just, you know, I was just such a fan of music. And I was just started getting up on stage in church and leading worship in the youth group. And that that's really what lit a fire under me that I like I knew I didn't want to ever do anything else. And thankfully, mm -hmm. I've never had another job uh, other than music. And so, yeah, wow. I, I originally went the producer route. I, I was working in a studio as soon as I graduated from high school in 05. And then I went the artist route for a few years and uh, yeah, went pretty hard at it. I mean, we toured, you know, a thousand shows. We were playing 150 plus dates a year, booking our own tours. We eventually ended up signing to a publishing company and a record label under yeah. Warner Brothers. Wow. And and then uh, I figured out right around that time that we were starting to have some radio success that yeah, this is this isn't the side of the microphone I'm supposed to be on. Like, I, I'm really. I'm, yeah. Yeah. It was weird. Like we were starting to actually have some success and like playing in front of, you know, really big bands and opening act like opening in arenas and things. And like so you would think, OK, that's the time you, you really want to hunker down. And for me, like I was getting some opportunities that were more on the production and writing side like all the, t the same time I was doing that and producing records literally like in the green rooms, like while, while before the show or after the show. And those were the things that I was really excited about. Like I, I wasn't that excited about going and doing all these shows and touring all over the place and um, just being the guy at the front of the stage. I feel like, I felt like I wasn't the one that had the thing to say. Huh? Like I felt it, well, I felt like it was other artists and I was supposed to be the guy that was like helping prop them up and, and give them better songs, make them sound amazing. And, and so that's where I kind of made the, uh, the transition after about doing the artist thing full time for four years to just jumping right back into the seat as a producer and songwriter. And it was a great decision. That was, like I said, right around that time that the Newsboys asked me to produce their record around 2009. And uh, yeah, had a really, really great run in the Christian music industry for about seven years and um, worked with literally everybody that I that was on my bucket list to work with. Like, oh, that like, is cool, man. Like every single person. And uh, so from there, and you know, you, you want winning Grammys and all that. It's, but from there, I, I made the decision that I wanted to branch out. And so over the last several years, I've been working a lot more in the country space and doing something pop and alternative and rock. And um, thankfully have been been able to keep keep a pretty good level of success going across the board and so i'm just man more than anything i'm i'm just really thankful 100 percent, man i that's that's amazing i'm so happy for you that that's the case man